back woody gang gang this your boy double o Mello, and i'm back with another one and man 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 like i'm at a loss of words apple just came out and just did a phenomenal job hands down uh this right now is the introduction of the iphone x the iphone 10 the 10th anniversary iphone man this is the phone i've been asking for this is my actual baby right here and uh, I'm going to break it down, what was seen, what was talked about. You know, some people didn't have the time to take an hour out of your presentation. Or, you know, you probably be a novice and you not know the tech side of what was said. This is just me breaking it down to you and letting you know what's good. So without further ado, let's get to it. Apple came straight out the door and introduced the Apple Watch 3 series. What's dope about this watch now is that it's completely wireless. It does not depend on your cell phone to actually operate. Now you can actually leave your phone at home and just use your watch for your everyday usage. What's really was dope about it that a, a lot of people haven't been speaking on is the actual screen itself is the antenna that's operating the phone, I mean operating the watch, which is dope in my opinion because a lot of phones have antenna built around it, but if you actually have your physical screen as the antenna that operates your phone, that is sick in so many ways. I definitely want to see if they're going to take a direction in the future and maybe have the newer iPhones with the actual antenna built on the screen outside of having the, the lines in the outer casing. We gotta wait and see what the future holds but right now the iphone watch next up is apple tv which now introduced apple tv 4k it's pretty much an upgrade from the apple tv fourth generation but it just added 4k to you know as tv start to get more affordable and things of that nature of course you gotta upgrade to 4k so that's what um, Apple just did they had also displayed their HDR 4k and just show how the visual concept between the two are just much improved with the Apple TV 4 honestly in my opinion Apple TV needs to get a full overhaul update they have to start creating original content if you cannot buy out ABC and CBS and Viacom and all these other cable companies to actually provide content to the Apple TV, you might need to go the Netflix direction and just start buying companies, you know, investing in companies to actually put original content on the Apple TV to make the price viable. Because right now, $179, $200 is not a good look right now for Apple TV 4, especially for someone like myself that already have an Apple TV, because I'm still not getting that original that original content. I can watch Netflix uh, in 4K on my Xbox, you know what I'm saying, on other devices. Apple need to come out with something original to literally blow the water out for Apple TV just in general. But of course, you know, maybe in the future things will change, but as of right now, this is the price form. This is the Apple TV. Semi lastly was the introduction to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, which introduced the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, which pretty much is the iPhone 7, but enhanced and visually better. Um, it had a, the A11 chip in it, uh, wireless charging, dirt and water resistant. The phone pretty much looks good, has a different colorway as well, but there's always a but with this. I don't understand why Apple would bring this phone out. Maybe for the got people that won't be too acceptive of the 10th anniversary iPhone. But um, they came out with the 8. And honestly, the phone seemed like it's going to fail off back. Just my opinion. I'm just speaking. Everyone that I know are as waiting for the, X, um, the iPhone 10 they like yo this is literally leaps and bounds that has been made with the iphone 10 so it's kind of like 
you're bringing out the iPhone 8, and yeah, it's maybe going to be in that same area for like, you know, when they came out with the 6, and then they had the 5S, where, you know, for the people that didn't want to have a big bulky screen or, or have the bigger screen, you can still suit for the little small screen and still have the functions and capabilities of that phone. I don't know. Me personally, I'm not getting it. I'm waiting. A lot of people that I know, they are waiting. So iPhone 8, <laughs> this is what you have. iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus. And last but not least, Miss Beauty herself, the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X, if you want to call it, the 10th anniversary iPhone. This phone right here is the next level of cell phone smartphones in your hand from the bezel to the camera to the buttonless screen this all gestures nothing with a button outside of the power and volume this phone is the next step of phones period uh me i always wanted this phone i always talk to my brothers about this you know my whole story of hey I just want to be able to have this and the back button, the Apple button in the back be a back button. They changed all it up. All finger gestures out the gate, period, outside of the buttons on the side, the camera, wireless charging. Also, now you have a wireless pad that charges the watch and your AirPods all at once. Man. The chip alone, A11 chip with the Bionic. A lot of people are looking at that word Bionic and it's very important. Now, another feature that Apple had was the actual fingerprint sensor. And a lot of, a lot of phones nowadays have face recognition where it unlocks your phone, etc., etc. Apple is not the innovator of this stuff. They just perfect it. They just literally took it to the next step with the A11 Bionicle chip. With Bionics, the, what's dope about it, a lot of people are not talking about it, is that it scans your face. And it, is just, it just don't do a regular scan of your face. It goes into details as the depth of feel in your face, certain blemishes, different marks, skin um, discoloration. Uh, shape form it does it all with the cameras that's up front you have the AI you have the proximity sensor the flood illuminator uh, man the dot projector is all right there in front of your face in this little small component area of the phone which makes it so dope you can't I remember back in the days where a lot of uh, reports was coming out of people using pictures to unlock people's phone. You can't even do that this time with this phone. Like literally, it sculptures your face. So even if you grow hair, even if you get a uh, uh, um, wear glasses, put on certain hats, even through makeup, it sees the sculpture of your face and allow you to unlock the phone mind blowing next level stuff right here like a lot of people are sitting here and saying hey is this worth the money is this worth 999 dollars me right now personally as me being a fan like i said me this being the phone that i've dreamed of yes because it's next top level quality phone like the next level of smartphones um from the sensor to the face scanning to the no buttons you know other phones like i said other phones have done it but when apple gets a hold of something they perfect it to a t the wireless charging the eco-friendly acceptance of other devices like like i said my house operates with apple over here so when i get the phone i'm getting everything that i asked for in some so me the 999 price tag is good for the 64 and then they had the other tier i believe it was the 128 or 256 
I think it's going to be like $200 more. What I would have wanted Apple to do, in my opinion, was this. I would have loved for them to have scrapped the iPhone 8, maybe not put that phone out, put all their attention on the 10th anniversary iPhone. It probably would have been weird with the numbers, I guess. I don't know, but if they would have put all their attention on the, the 10th anniversary iPhone and actually came out with a 32 instead of coming out the, with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, I think it would have balanced everything out because I see why you have the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is because it's $700, $800. It's kind of around the price range of a typical phone. And you still have the A11 chip, but with this phone, the I, the iPhone X, I see that you putting your attention on the camera. You have literally 4K, 60 frames per second recording on your back camera, and you in your front camera, you have 1080p, 60 or 30. That is dope with a phone like. The depth of portraits that you can take with this phone is going to be on next level. Like you're literally, we're literally on the verge of having a phone that can maybe surpass certain DSL cameras. Like this is how big this is. Um, from the new, also their new direction with the AR, uh, the AR augment reality camera like you can literally have a picture and add certain various things onto the picture and it's 3d enhanced like in your face like it is crazy there's a lot of video games right now that's using vr and ar to uh, um to entertain their customers with video games so for you to have your phone and be able to have an empty desk and play a whole game in front of your face through your screen of your phone is next level it just shows how advanced this chip is there's like literally six seven hundred dollar consoles video game consoles that do this thing and you're having it in the palm of your hands that is next level i can imagine people playing Candy Crush or you know uh, Angry Birds on their desktop or even have a version of Minecraft where it's literally on your desk and you're able to play it without having a console without having a controller none of the extra parts that is crazy to even think about so yes i see where the technology is they definitely put all of their time and effort into this uh, iphone x as well as with the the new hand features the hand gesture features like for you to not have a button in the knock it out the park like you have on your first try is second to none like that is amazing the design of it is dope uh, the price tag is very much justified in my opinion right now um, You can't go wrong with this like Like I said before if they would have maybe Put their time and effort and made a lower version of it instead of coming out for the 8 and the 8 plus I think you could have waited for the 8 and the 8 plus and maybe came out with that next year maybe and then just came out with the, uh, the iPhone X because like I said, I think the sales are going to hurt with the 8 and the 8 Plus because of this phone. Because like I said, you have people like myself and maybe others that are like, you know, that I know for a fact my circle are waiting on the X. They're like, yo, I'm past. I'm late on that. I'm cool. Like right now I got the 7. I got 256 gigs. I'm good. I can hold out until this phone pre-order comes out in the actual November 3rd release. Like, that's how comfortable I am right now. This phone right here is definitely going to sell out the water. Uh, I mean, it's just going to blow out a lot of sales because of just everything that is done. I can't wait to see my alumni status app running on this phone. Um, I'm Man, I can't say much more about it. Um, also, the benchmarks for the, the actual phone itself surpasses Samsung 
flagship phone, which is the S8 currently. That is crazy. That the benchmark are literally subpar to each other on almost to uh, a MacBook Pro. That chip in this phone has surpassed. Like I don't think other people understand what you're saying. Like we are comparing a smartphone, a cell phone, on the level of a MacBook. That's how big this is. Like everyone had that exception. Like hey, you know. My laptop can do X, Y, and Z, this, that, and the third. But when it comes to the benchmarks, phones could not handle a high-end MacBook or a laptop. We are on the verge of actually introducing a smartphone that's on the level of a MacBook. Doesn't matter what generation or what year the MacBook is, it's just to the point of this we're it's in a conversation it's we it's actually a conversation of a smartphone something that you carry in your pocket <laughs> you put on your hip it's on the level of a laptop monumental kudos to apple man y'all did y'all thing i'm rocking with it i can't wait to have this phone in my hands i'm definitely gonna do an unboxing of it and i just I just can't, oh, I even forgot to talk about the emojis, <laughs> which is crazy within itself. Like, everyone is now starting to get emojis and starting to play around with them and even with the gifts and stuff like that. Apple comes out the gate and now you have animated emojis where your face expressions and your talking can actually go on to a message, an iMessage. Like, if you haven't played with the iPhone app messages already, you're missing out, man. It's like some crazy messages be coming through with, these, with the messages alone already. And now they up in the ante and give you animated emojis. First to do it again. Clean. You know it's going to work like it should. It's like back-to-back -back great things are coming from this company. And this phone right here... Man, I, me personally, I was already like, yo, I'm going to get the phone. I'm buying it. This is going to be my retirement phone. Like, I'm done with uh, Apple. What else can they do? Like, what else can they do? And the moment I say that, they blow it out the water with a whole new, man, a whole new design and everything. The iPhone 10 anniversary is going to be the standard for a lot of phones. And like I said before, Yes, Apple is not the first to do it. Microsoft had AR before Apple. And the thing with uh, the thing with Microsoft is they didn't put it in their phones. They didn't perfect it, like in my opinion. Samsung came out with face recognition way before Apple came out with it. But unfortunately, they didn't perfect it like Apple has. Like, it was reports. Like, these are proven document reports of people using pictures and um and um tape fingerprint tape to unlock people's phones and take pictures and they able to see and able to get access to people's phones apple literally took plastic masses of people's faces molding of people's faces and tried to uh to have to hack this iphone x and it was not possible you could not get in it goes off of your distinct face alone unless you have a twin <laughs> like they literally said it's like one out of a million chances that someone will be able to unlock your phone without your personal face that right there is dope within itself and like i said before it's not about who comes to the race first. It's about how you finish it. It's about your breathing. It's about how you perfect your talent. And Apple nails it every time. Like, the security comfort with this phone is going to be crazy. It's not a worry. Um, once again, the wireless charging is coming out. And then on top of that, you have it charging up your AirPods in your um iphone uh, watch was also was dope was i see them embracing third party so 
now you starting to see more third party people come out with devices for it and they was able to accept them and actually uh, put them on uh, at the presentation, you know, announced that, hey, we have third party that's doing uh, wireless charging as well for the iPads. And you ain't have to worry about, you know, you using a third party device and probably damaging your phone. Dope stuff. Like, that is the attention to detail. Like I said before, attention to detail be anything. Quantity, quality always be quantity quantity remember that this is your boy double o mellow signing out peace